Hi guys, uh, Jason here, one of the founders of GoSave. I just want to do another update with where we are uh, with uh, the app and um, the piggy bank. We've made some important changes to, to how the workflow works and, and more importantly we've finalised how do we actually get the kids and parents on board onto the platform. So you notice here Astro now has a QR code. When you first turn on your device, a unique QR code will come on which will then, when I do the setup uh, of my child, would bind towards my child's profile. So for example, my daughter Sophie, once I scan her in to, with this QR code, this toy now belongs to Sophie and, and not for any other child. So uh, let me just show you the whole setup workflow so you, you do understand what I'm talking about. Uh, again, uh, I fired up the GoSave app. Let's set up an account, uh, Jason, at, I'll just put in some silly credentials, fake17.com, jco17, uh, password. We've also had improvements in terms of um, like a profile picture. So if I, I can take a photo of myself as dad. There you go, so I'll use that photo. First info, Jason Co. I'm the father, and I'll call myself Super Dad. There we go. So I'll create me on, on the platform. Uh, and the next step is to add my daughter as one of my children. So you can see my profile is loaded up on the main screen. I'll hit this plus sign to add a child. Uh, and this is where I connect my child to uh, the individual toy. So I'll hit scan QR code. I put that up on the screen. There we go. It's picked it up. Hit next. Um, my daughter's profile picture. I'll, I'll choose that from the library she, since she's not here. So I can pick a cute pick of my daughter. There we go. Uh, first name Sophie. Second name Co. Nickname Soph, girl and born on this day. So that creates, this creates um, Soph on the platform. Notice that her toy is autom automatically logged in. It flashed welcome to go save. She's got zero dollars because it's the first time she's using it. So my profiles are active on the parents app. The child, one of my child has been set up. So if you, I can go ahead and add another child, my son Eric and that will just fall under there and I can toggle between the two children if, as I'm interacting with their, sort of, uh, their chores or their allowances. So let's go through it again. Let's add a chore. So add chore. I'll just quickly I'll show there's, there's no chores at the moment. So if I go through that, there's no chores assigned. Let's go um, uh, something generic, clean up the house um, and we'll make that a, a two dollar chore. One extra feature we've added is uh, photos. So let's, let's take a photo of this office and call that the home. Now when I add the chore, um, this includes the photo of the chore uh, which gets displayed on the device. So you can think about, about you can take a photo of uh, a pile of dirty dishes and say wash the dishes and then she'll get also get a visual look at exactly what you're talking about. That chore's been added. Um, if I scroll across, you'll see that has come up on the toy. So Super Dad, which is my nickname, wants you to clean up the house for $2, and it's got that picture I've just taken. Um, and let's just add a few more chores to it for completeness. So I can go on our trending tab, and I pick a set of chores that have been set by the system or by the community. So I've, I've set these up prior. I'll throw out some Coke cans, let's add that. That's $1.25 and you can see that photo of a Coke can that I took on my desk uh, about 30 minutes ago. Um, and also let's add the typical um, uh, mow the lawn chore. Add that and that's a high value chore of $5. Put that in there. And then if you look at Astro, um, we've got clean the house that's still there. If I scroll across now, there's the Coke can one, $1.25. Uh, 
uh, and also mow the lawn for $5. Uh, one other change we made since the last video we did was now when uh, the child taps the screen to complete the chore and says waiting on approval, um, it actually goes back to the balance screen because it allows uh, your child to continue using uh, the toy while, uh, while the verif uh, chore for verification comes up on the verification list. So you can see now that the $2 clean the house chores on the verification list, uh, if I Go over the current, you'll see the other two are still in current. And here, uh, that chore is now greyed out. So it's just letting a child know that that chore needs to be verified before that $2 comes across. Let's do that. So on the verification tab, let's click check on, uh, check on that box. Hit done. The parent has verified. We do some back-end processes to update, uh, obviously, our back-end. Um, it takes uh, roughly 30 seconds. Oh, no, that was quick. Superdad has just sent you $2. My profile comes up, cl completing clean the house, and that increments up to $2. Um, let's, let's quickly finish up all the chores. So we've done thrown away the Coke cans, um, submitted for approval, and let's also do mow the lawn. So now if I... Whoop, Check the verification list. We've got those two chores are waiting to be verified. There are no active chores because they're all done. And if I check on the screen, um, both those chores are grayed out just to indicate that I'm um, waiting for verification. So let's verify um, the Coke can one, hit done. Uh, and then after a few seconds, uh, while the back-end processes get done. Yep, Superdad sent you $5 for completing the mobile lawn. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I've, I've completed the mobile lawn one first. The Coke can one is still on the list. So let's hit Coke can. Sorry, I, I misspoke there. Um, and the Coke can one should come up now. And three, two, one, there we go. Superdad sent you $1.25 for completing throw up Coke cans. That should go up to eight dollars or so. Uh, finally, just to show you, again like last time, allowances, just a simple um, love you dear uh, message. We'll select a generous ten dollars. This is not a chore, it's just a one-off payment. Send that money across uh, and that will just come up on the screen uh, with my profile and the message, the custom message I put through. It is. Love you, dear. That should have got to 1825. Uh, what we're doing now, so a lot of the, the user experience between how the parents use the app and how the child interacts with the toy, that's mostly fleshed out now. Um, we're looking at uh, an online dashboard so parents can log into their GoSafe account and just look at uh, what their child has done historically and what they're trending towards. Um, and ultimately, we're looking at ideas of building uh, you know, monthly reports to send to you as a parent just to keep tabs on, on how your child's done. Uh, there are potentially many other ideas we could roll out. Um, so if you have what you think is a good idea, please contact us and uh, Andrew and I have a chat about it. Uh, we might even ask for some more feedback from you and uh, uh, perhaps the feature will end up on GoSafe. Thanks, guys.